Alright, we're back with Jojo. We have episode 15 and maybe 16. We'll see how it goes, how it ends and how we feel after the episode. Last episode was a big focus on Hermes. I liked it. A uh, good revenge story there. Really liked the backstory. And now I'm very curious on what Jolene saw in um, Sports Max's memories, right, with the discs and what she's really looking for here and she's trying to get stronger now. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. Let's go. Here we go. Flashback. That is factual. You're right. Who decides that? You? I don't know, you tell me. The eyes as well, as he says, what could he see? I love this shot. Every time we see that. Revive this bone. Love the line work here. Yeah, because he kind of needs the entire corpse. Huh? Last remaining bone. Okay, yeah. Yep, yeah, this is what we saw last episode. I love the team, like the organs. It's so much. And the music. What? Whoa. And then we. That's not well, you're right, it is not. Right, so is theory. It's just moving by itself. Combine it. Ah, so it is there. Emporio. Mm. Oh, well, so that was Emporio seeing this. The other guy with the pink hair still don't know his name. I I'm just waiting for him to do something at some point. Hmm. Yeah, the the drawings are so strong this episode. There he is. Is he talking? Anastasia. <laughs> the footprints on his chest as well. What type of person is he? <laughs> like, look at the shading there. Anasui. There he goes. Disassemble. Disassemble everything. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, Dissembled someone, a person? Cheating on him? Yeah. Oof. Hmm. Hmm.どこ直れた精神鑑定の結果はなんと聖書。それで彼はこの水族館に行くかわからない。だが、私一人ではジョリンのところまでとても行けない。頼んでダメならこいつを。フーファイターズ団で力ずくで私に従わせると。What <laughs> are we seeing is 
<笑>あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、
Now, who does have the stem right now? Who has the stem? It's starting. And it just keeps building, building. Anger. Beseech anger, huh? <laughs> wow, man. Yeah, they're, they're just gonna kill each other. There's water everywhere, too. Hey, yo. Yeah, now you want to fight the strongest, right? The strongest muscle. And that's where they're just gonna break each other's body. Now, is Jolene gonna let that happen? Let them kill each other? Oh my god, that's a broken leg right there. The episode is gonna end, isn't it? What? Put okay, this shot. Matthew. Yeah, that is a verse in there. The number four. Always the number four. Man, I'm shocked. Okay. Awesome. Oh, Some crazy designs. One v four, huh? What is? Wait, what? That's more than four. All of their cells got open, I guess. Around that here. And this guy. Fight club time! Not fight club. <laughs> wow. Alright, we'll do another one here, hopefully. You know, maybe this whole sequence with those four stand users here can end in the next episode, we'll see. But I'll talk more about this episode for sure, but uh, man, there's a lot to talk about in this episode. That was a really good one, like really good one. I mean, like I've said in this episode, the I'm just blown away by the production side of things <laughs> for this episode. Listen, it looked incredible. The line work, the drawings were so strong. I wonder who the animation director was on this. Uh, I mean, Dio looked great. It was cool to see Pucci. Yeah, we'll just talk more in depth about it in the discussion, but wow. Wow. I don't think that's gonna happen, but... The secret guard of Westwood. Not Westwood. I mean, I'm not expecting this episode to look as good as the last one, but we'll see. Just all of them standing there with this kind of blue-black shading is really cool, haunting, creepy. There it goes, and everyone. We're gonna have to find out who is one of the four, but there's three others with other stands, right? So. Yeah, she's already getting affected. I mean, the fact that she figured that out like this is very impressive. He went after her instantly. Now, was that because he sensed that she was the strongest there? Holy shit! Walking in the walls, too? <laughs> Just. <laughs> oh, she's killing him. That rage. 
Is it? It is indeed. Ooh. Ooh, all black, right? Beautiful shot again. She really got the stance, man. Where did she learn that? So she's gonna actually kill him, or? The back kick? Sheesh! Holy. She really became just a UFC fire like this, huh? Who did that? That is not good. Wait. Is he? So he was one. Was he or is it just a memory disc? That's the second time you say this, bro. Is it? <laughs> Those stance, man. Oh my god, he's fast. Okay. <laughs> the kicks though, Muay Thai. Yes, it's 10 years old. Well, there's a problem with your model. <laughs> this sound effect. And cuffed. Oh wow. <laughs> Just like a ghost. That works too. I mean, if he's not down after this, I don't know. Again, man. Is it like coming back to her? Like the damage is reflecting to her or something? He's invincible, bro. Bro, just find a new job then. Why are you still here? How are you gonna get out of this, Jolene? Damn, they're going crazy on this right now. This guy is a problem, man. Yeah, this is literally a UFC fight, like MMA more, I guess. <laughs> Alright, didn't have to say that. Um, come on, Jolene, come on. Yeah, those are where the attacks were. Came out. Finally, she used her trust, that's good. It's coming. <laughs> Wait, bro, is just bringing freaking rocks. Bro, be careful, don't draw him cars. Bro is literally dragging meter. <laughs> dragging meteors to attack her, and we didn't even see them before when we got it. Powerful, man. If you drag scars back here, uh, we're gonna be in trouble. Can't lie, the stand does look all, <laughs> all muscles as well. There he is. Yeah, he can just make <laughs> climbing like this. Can make his uh, stand go through walls and stuff. Yeah, yeah, we know. It won't happen, but... 
He's a weird guy indeed. Put him in front of you, maybe? Or just dodge on him? Okay. Damn, he's even able to, like, control it. That's an insane ability. <laughs> yeah, burn away. Troll. And now he's freaking arm lock. Oh my god. That's. Ooh. That's disgusting. We're taking a lot of damage here. At least Foo Fighters is coming towards her, but... Yeah, we can see everyone else in the back fighting, I guess. I was wondering if they were fighting or what they were doing. Nice shot. Like a the sun, the moon. He said the thing, he said the word. Bro doesn't even know. Here we go again. Why is this guy such a problem, man? Just die, bro. He's about to die. I don't know. <laughs> They're giving her time. Man. The bone. This guy. Tattoos. He's small. Oh my god, we just hit a kick like this? She might have used our treads though here. もう一人の囚人は。ウォンダイ。ああ、いや、this <笑> There's fire on it too. Yare yare te kanjita. Yare yare. Koitsu senzen kori ne yo. Zen akira me ne. She does not. Come on. Atashi wa hoshi o miru. As it comes into the star. Pointing at it. Nice match over. Yeah, it really had that feel of a match. All right, some pretty good episode there, guys. I mean, first of all, this uh, episode that we watch, I can definitely see Araki. Uh, I I'm sure he did a lot of research in terms of martial arts and MMA and all that stuff for that episode. I mean, it was full of choreography, uh, kicks, chokes, arm bars, just punches. Everything was there. It was really fun to watch. I mean, Jolene is very impressive. <laughs> she has those tricks. Uh, uh, not exactly sure where she learned that but she's just built different I guess this episode really reminded me of if you've watched attack on Titan um, there's the episode of um, Eren versus the armored Titan in season 2 and in this episode you know the author really took a lot of inspiration from actual uh, fighters and fights themselves so this episode really reminded me of that where it really looked like Araki did did a lot of research and I can really appreciate that you know um it's really cool to see i mean i'm sure even the animators that did this episode as well did survivor huh 
it's a it's a pretty cool stand we still are not sure who has that stand right but it's pretty cool and it's really interesting that Dio considered it being the weakest right but Pucci you know decided that you know I'll put it to use in the future and yeah I think he used it in the perfect environment right in the perfect place um, here even if it's you know disability either friends or foe it doesn't matter in this environment in this place I think it works really well animation was pretty damn good as well in those two episodes uh, the first episode oh my god I was like literally just shocked i mean it has to be one of the better produced episode of this whole part so far again the drawings were so damn strong like every single shot almost uh there was super thick lines they didn't slack on any anything really it's really noticeable so we got to see um a little bit of the pink haired guy um so his name is anesthesia or something like this um let me know how you pronounce his name in japanese that's kind of i kind of just like to actually know his name in japanese so let me know how you guys say his name he has a voice actor that i recognize as well really like it i realized as well at first i thought he was fully shirtless but i think he kind of has like a oh, what's the word in english you know uh, the shirts that doesn't cover your shoulders and stuff i think he has that but it's it's literally the same uh, color as his skin yeah his stand looks pretty cool and it looks like he's able to make it go through you know uh, walls and stuff and there was a delay as well he was able to delay his attack on the guards i'm sure we'll learn more about what his stand like really does in more details pretty interesting character already right with him uh, loving to deconstruct things anything really right we've seen him with the uh, watch then the porch you know the car and at some point yeah he um he did it to his girlfriend and the other guy that she was cheating uh on with him it is uh yeah is dangerous right because in this instance he says that you know he's gonna do this but jolene has to marry him i guess you know he says he likes her conviction or something like this right now yeah the scary thing is if he goes there saves her whatever and she's like what the hell bro i'm not marrying you <laughs> like what what he's gonna do then he's gonna try to de disconstruct her or i'm excited to see more of him for sure really cool uh t i mean <laughs> there's so much in that episode the start of the episode where we see pucci and sports max again again we kind of see a little bit of uh, like a part of that scene we already he saw but we get kind of additional stuff there like pucci got injured in his end um like a pretty bad injury and the bone just kind of disappeared and they were saying it moved on his own but now like is when they they said let's because pucci was like let's see where it goes like um maybe there's actually a way to go to heaven now let's just see where it goes and is someone actually moving it with a stand or something or is it really just moving by itself and it's going towards something maybe right i'm not quite sure when he says like i guess the ball moving right um like this is like shows him a way that there's actually a way to heaven like it proves it proves uh the old theory right i guess and i do like as well the the lines where pucci is like there can only be a certain amount of soul on the world right now again who decides this who knows god and then he says you know if someone is able to get uh, a lot of souls just one person um po possessing a lot of souls what can this person see what future does that person hold up? again i feel like he's definitely talking that plays into uh getting into heaven or his old goal he's obviously talking about himself you know and that in that moment obviously plays with his stand of having a lot of souls right uh with his discs at some point are we gonna see him like do something with a bunch of stands and souls and just trying to like absorb all those souls in a way is that something that's gonna happen at some point with him and what does that what is that gonna do to the world or pucci i don't know so let's see what this bomb does obviously we saw in the episode that one of the i'm guessing it probably is a stand user the one that uh the little guy i guess i guess this is a question what is the bomb 
doing? Why is it moving? Maybe it's trying to get somewhere, you know, maybe a remaining of something of Dio or... And every time you get those little flashbacks with Pucci and Dio just having a conversation, it was really cool to see Pucci talk because we didn't see him talk that much uh, in the flashbacks we got, but he really talks. I mean, he's obviously much younger, so I think the voice actor does a good job, but he's really... <laughs> it's rare that we see him talk like this to someone, right? But it makes sense with Dio that he would talk like this. But I really like, again, so much characterization for Dio's character that we didn't get before. It's it's great. Just that those lines of Dio saying like, when you're asking me what is the weakest 10, like he doesn't really have an answer for that. He's like, everyone has their own strength, right? A king has his own strength, as the cook has his own strength. So he applies it, this with stands as well, right? It's tough to say that someone has a stronger soul or than others in a way, right? They're all strong in their own ways. Very philosophical, <laughs> not something that I would have expected for Dio from Dio, but I love it, man. Yeah, I really like this design. <laughs> he looked so cool and I really like how he's drawn uh, in this part uh, compared to part 3. The drip, you know, the ring, <laughs> the gold, with obviously his hair and stuff, it looks really great. And I don't know what he was doing there, he was like working on a boat and like painting and all that stuff. Is it referencing to something? I, I'm not quite sure. And I just, some of my favorite shots in this part is every time we see Pucci um, in his church or whatever, right? And we just see the light coming from the windows. It just looks so beautiful and it's, and just with Pucci, in the middle with the shading it just looks really great and as i said the fight itself with jolene and that guy you know that guy's stand was crazy to just call meteors uh <laughs> yeah that was really cool uh, yeah powerful powerful well it's kind of like it's not that powerful in the sense of like in a 1v1 against someone i'm not saying like it's the most powerful stand but just to be able to drag meteors from the freaking sky like this and it, it's like a magnet to the guy yeah it's pretty crazy and the whole environment of everyone like so many people they're just fighting with that crazy ass stand with survivor yeah just the sitting in the prison uh, it really looked like a gulag <laughs> it was very cool and i guess the last thing i want to talk about here is uh, jolene um that line of she asked her a question of like there's people that um just watches the wall um stares at the wall and then there's the one that look uh, looks at the stars through the bars you know the windows she was asking which one i am obviously we know <laughs> she's not the one to look at the wall and obviously at the end she does say it you know i i decide to look at the stars something like this obviously she says i'm gonna get the disc and again this still plays into the old dreamer part of her right and this goes with the uh, ending song of course of a distant dreamer and it's a big theme it's just funny as well you know with giorno in the last part of a big thing of i have a dream in this case it's different they obviously have a totally different point of view of dreaming uh, in my opinion and obviously the dream itself is different she's a dreamer and she always will be she's not gonna look at the wall just accepting and just falling down she's always gonna look up looking at the stars dream to see her dad again to talk to her dad to have that relationship she's gonna dream until she gets there and i really really hope she gets there i uh it's uh, there's a little bit of a part of me now that's killing a little bit scared of like because when you see when you see him are you gonna wake up from that dream or are you gonna still be in that dream i don't know because sometimes when you think about dream you hear dream you're like is it just something that you're gonna look from a distance are you just gonna wake up from that dream <sighs> i'm a little bit scared that she's uh yeah we'll see if she revives jotaro at some point and the more we go the more uh, i'm like <sighs> It's funny as well because one of the first scenes that we, saw, we see of Jolene uh, in that jail cell when she's um, talking about <laughs> she was uh, masturbating to the... I think it was the moonlight coming from the, the window, right? Yeah, I mean, as weird and as funny that scene is, I still think 
it being one of the first thing we see from her is obviously telling you know that she feels so strongly about looking at the stars at the sky dreaming you know really well done i like the writing that's going on there and we still have a lot to see there from jolene and that dream i'll leave it there a lot of talking here so don't forget to subscribe to don't miss out on the rest and like the video and i'll catch you guys on the next one night see you